Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to fix your Google Play Store if it fails to start. Also, if you are missing your GeForce Now and GameStream uh, tabs, if these two are missing, then this can also correct those problems too. So with no further ado, let's get started. Welcome back YouTubers. First, I want to educate you why the Play Store may fail to start. And also your hub may be missing the GeForce Now and the GameStream. The reason why is both of these apps look at your system name to find out which system you have. And depending on what system you have, it will download the correct Play Store or whether you have these two tabs. There's no point in having these two tabs on a Samsung phone and you cannot run GeForce Now or the game stream. So with no further ado, let's get started and show you how to change your system name to fix this problem. I'm going to use Solid Explorer. I'm going to skip this, accept, done. Got it. Allow, allow. And then I'm gonna come up here to the three dots and I'm gonna choose folder options and show hidden files. Then I wanna go to the root directory, grant permissions. And then you wanna go down to system, scroll down to the bottom where it says build prop. And then you wanna choose your text editor. And then what you want to look for is RO product name equals foster.e. This is what you want to change. And what I want to change this to is full underscore foster e hard drive. If you're on a 16 gig, you want to delete the underscore HDD. And that would be for the 16 gig. That's the proper way of doing it. And for the hard, um, 500 gig hard drives, which I have right now, is you want underscore HDD. Once you um, renamed it, you want to hit save and you get a check mark and then you want to reboot. Once you reboot, we'll start with that, the next step. And while I'm here, I'm going to show the build prop editor as well. And on this one, you just want to do is scroll down to the same thing. R O. That's favorite. Right here. Click it and then you rename it and then you hit the save button. And you want to also grant permissions. And those are the two ways you can use it. You can use a build prop editor that's only exclusively just to change out the build prop editor or you can use the Solid Explorer or any kind of file manager. Once you reboot the system, which I'm gonna do right now, now that we have rebooted, now I can show you how to uninstall the Google Play Store, the old version or the wrong version, and install the correct one. What we're gonna do is we hold here and we just say uninstall. Another way you can do it is go into the app drawer. If you have a question mark, you can just hold here and say uninstall. I'm gonna cancel right now. And if you see, if we try to load it, you get this message. So we're gonna uninstall it. Finished, now it's uninstalled. And now it would load. Also, you can tell that this is the older version is because this uh, search bar is actually smaller. When it actually updates, it's actually going to almost go full width of the top 
well across the top. To make this faster, what we're going to do is we're going to swipe this out and we're going to wait about two to three minutes and it should update itself. And also, if you notice here, we're on GeForce now and it no longer works because we're not on GeForce. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm going to swipe this off. there to go back to shop because now we no longer have the GeForce and the game stream and that's because technically we're on a totally different device even though it's the same it's just renamed different and to get this back working we have to rename it back but first we're going to wait for the Google Play Store to update itself to the latest version once it's updated to the latest version we don't have to worry about this until the next update there we go it's the full version now, see? Well, the latest version. And sometimes, just keep a note that sometimes it updates twice. Now that wasn't too hard. Please don't forget to stop by my website for detailed information. I'll be uploading this right away. And my website is nvidiatvnews.com. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if this video helped you out or you liked it. And definitely subscribe and I'll be with you on upcoming videos because I definitely have something in store.